All right, welcome to the vlog, everybody. I think this one might be an interesting topic. We are in a place called Gypsy Valley, which at first sight is very sort of scary and peculiar looking. There is this wooden road that's been built on top of the stones here. I thought it was a boardwalk at first for like uh, walking on, but there are cars driving on it. Obviously there's graffiti everywhere. And to be clear, I think Gypsy can be used as a disrespectful term. I mean no disrespect. Um, this place is just called Gypsy Alley because in the 1830s, so nearly 200 years ago, the Roma people settled here in Belgrade. To be clear, Ivana and I have, I think, no experience meeting or talking to Roma people. We would like to get to know the Roma culture more, but my point is we have no reason to be disrespectful. We don't even know these people. You're right. So we're not... Uh, trying to use the term gypsy as a, some sort of negative thing. Now, there is a really nice fine don dining and traditional Serbian food restaurant up here somewhere, but I think first, before we eat, we should check out some of these really cool stores. I think I found one right now. Uh, this is right here in Gypsy Alley, looking like a antiques store with tons of beautiful things happening. Let's see what we can see here. Go to field and keep it our ship. And ah. This is for uh, woman or girl. Oh, woman. To ah. to look somewhere in a two, <laughs> two thousand okay. meters mountain looks beauty. Ah, for mirror. This yes, is uh, mirror. and uh, here put wool and make it. I show you. This is a makeup mirror for a make it. shepherd's wife. Ah, for and after okay. must to. Oh, Maybe and they make the this or jumper or, you know. Wow. Okay. Multi-purpose. Makeup mirror and tool for a shepherd. Yeah. Yes. Wow, very nice. This is for, Making uh, yarn. Uh, you see, uh, have a be uh, beautiful narrative who, you know, primitive uh, art. Right, right, right. Beautiful details. Sometimes, very nice. some without a mirror. Wow, uh, what a nice store. So this is your store. My store, yes. Wow, very nice. Uh, young boy. This is for young boy. Yes, shepherds fighting. Ah. And sometimes I find bracelets without one piece. Uh, oh, okay. it's broken. Yes. Because they're play fighting. Play fighting. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Or these are original pieces. Yes, I have only original pieces. Yes, okay. We are famous for. We are first ethno magazine in town. Wow. My Can I hold? Wow. My mother started this job 40 years ago, and I'm second oh. generation here. Wow. Good for you. So nice. Yes. Where do you come from? Canada. Nice. Canada. Wow, thank you. Where in Canada? Vancouver, Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> well, outside of Toronto, but close close to this Toronto. This is the traditional yes. wear. Yes. Traditional wear. This is wool. Yes. Nice. From Kosovo. Oh. From no Kosovo. Okay. Can I oh, back yes, room. Wow, very nice start. Thank you for having oh, us. Wow. I mean, what a nice story, Vana. Yeah. Like Everything <laughs> very intriguing to look at. Bicycle, bicycle on the top shelf. Uh, old stuff. Some vintage Man, toys. Ivana, should we buy something? The problem is we, we struggle with bag space. <laughs> but I mean, that that makeup mirror for Shepard's wife. Whoa, vintage skis. Look at that. Good luck. Poof. <laughs> so oh, nice. So this. actually not a gypsy theme, but just a uh, uh, Balkans, antique yeah. Balti uh, Balkan Balkans. inspired antique store. Uh, Gris, Zucker, and Cafe. I think sugar, I think coffee, and I would have to guess salt. I have no idea. No, no. This would be salt and this would be pepper. It's liquid, no? Oil and vinegar. Greece, don't know. So nice. The name? So nice. Do. Do. Okay. Well, thank you for having yeah. us. So nice. Thank you. <laughs> so great, right? Thank you. Give, give you. Your friend. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Of course. Thanks. All right, I have to admit something after visiting that incredible store. The guy there was really helpful beautiful store he owns and he did say that this part of Belgrade is not referred to as the Gypsy Alley it's referred to as the Bohemian Quarter and honestly I had to do a Google search and see what Bohemian meant a little bit embarrassing because I've been singing the song Bohemian Rhapsody for like 20 years 
but it turns out bohemian means anything related to an unconventional lifestyle, which is a very respectful way of saying um, the gypsy alley. So here we are, and I think now in the bohemian quarter, it's time to try some brandy by the glass. I mean, what could be better than that? Brandy for breakfast? Brandy for breakfast. Sounds like the name of a YouTube channel. Brandy for <laughs> breakfast. Let's go. Can we? You, do you want to drink by shot? Please. Yes, strong? please. Strong we can or do strong or sweet. Strong or sweet, Ivana? Strong, strong or, or sweet. Uh, so uh, so yeah. the, the brandy is homemade? Oh, uh, strong. This is a list of me. Uh, Malina. Okay. Uh, 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 apricots. Yeah. It's a plum to your salt. Ah. Uh, wow. uh, it's Queens. It's 11 uh, 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 years old. Oh, 11 yeah, years yes, old. Yeah, yes, very strong. It's clean. It's a traditional first, second year war. Wow. Yeah, yes. It's, uh, um, and this is Klekovaca and uh, mm -hmm. Grappa. And five years old. Uh, oh, okay. Wow, Ivana. Yeah. This More is all. This from, is honey from Serbia. Uh, uh, from always Serbia. Serbia Only okay. Serbia. No, 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 no. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, honey, honey and the liquor. This is liquor. Oh, liquor, okay. Ježevik, uh, blackberry, raspberry, uh, sherry, peanuts. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yes. God. This looks homemade. Yeah, uh, um, uh, it's made. Uh, hon uh, honey and uh, ah. brandy. Which oh, one do you want? Honey, it's jump honey in. and brandy. Han honey and brandy. Yeah, uh, honey and brandy, honey and brandy. Sweet, same, same. Uh, brandy, sweet brandy. Sweet brandy. Sweet oh, yeah. honey, it's the same. same. It's the same. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is okay. the one you made. You, you. Homemade. Home, yeah. Yes, homemade. Yeah. Homemade. Homemade. This is. Everything homemade. Uh, no, only this. Only, only this. this. Okay. Yeah, let's, only, only. let's go for honey. homemade honey brandy. Thank you. Oh yeah, homemade honey brandy oh. in the okay. Bohemian Quarter. Uh, yeah. And one for me too, please, yeah. please. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank, you. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Okay, Ivana. Uh, Serbian Jiveli. Uh, uh, Jiveli or Zdravo Živo. Or Zdravo Zijo. Zdravo Živo. It's a, uh, when we, you say uh, uh, words, Zdravo Živo, this is a uh, good soul and a smile. Ah. Energy, wow. say, this is a uh, word. Yeah. Okay, or Zdravo Zijo. I think this is the, the, the preview the, the preview to the pronunciation challenge. Oh, one Rest, shot? Restravo Zivo. I'm going one shot, okay. baby. Down the, down the hatch. Who needs coffee in the morning? Oh my gosh. That was nice, though. It's good. Very nice. It has some kick to it. Brandy. I can taste it in my nose a little bit. It's quite warm. So this is Serbian brandy. So I, I think it's called Rakia. This is. Um, uh, it might be rakia. Yeah, rakia made Holy from honey. Jumping. It's warm in my body. But to take <laughs> take my jacket off and go for a jog. <laughs> yes. No dancing. <laughs> no dancing. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, wow, there you have it. And I think I think it's gonna be um. Two fifty. Two dollars fifty a shot. Yes, Worth yes. every penny. Yes. Worth every penny. Okay. She's she's talked us into one one more. <laughs> One more. Let's be clear. It wasn't very hard to Excuse convince me. me. Yo, shot, please. This one, mine. Yeah, okay. okay. She said this one is more strong. Just try this one. Yeah, it's strong. I give you no, okay, no okay. pay. Yes, small please. one. It's small more for madame. For madame, okay. Yeah. A small one. And this one, one is okay. from Plum. Plum, uh, 20 years old. 12 years old Plum. Yeah. 12 yeah. years old Plum. It's old 20 years. Yes. 12. Good. Uh, English. Uh, uh, Aged. No, uh, years. Years. Yeah. Years. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty years. Twenty old, years. Old. Yes. Uh -huh. Understand. No. Very nice. Uh, do you want uh, old? I old woman. This is old brandy. <laughs> You're still young. <laughs> <laughs> She's twenty years old. <laughs> Same like the brandy. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? It's just like a brandy. It's ages, ages <laughs> like brandy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. Oh nice. my goodness! Yeah. That one has some bite to it. Yeah. Uh, 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 it uh, only Serbia have this. This one. Yeah, mm. Serbia. It's a uh, um, tradition of first, uh, second war. Second wow. war. Yeah. It's yeah. from the second uh, war. Generation on, on generation. It's clean. It's pure fruits. No GMO. 
No, GMO, it's natural. You, <laughs> you taste it. You yeah. taste it. Yes. Are you speaking the truth? Very nice. Yeah. Very good. Good one. All Thank right. you very much. Thank you so no. much. Oh, oh, no, only two pure shots, 500. Yes. 500, no yeah. problem. No very problem. nice. Yeah. Yeah. You, you forget, uh, say, zdravo živo. Zdravo živo. Yeah. <laughs> what is zdravo živo? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> two shots of brandy before breakfast. Oh my god, we haven't eaten. Food. We haven't eaten one bite of food today. Okay, <laughs> we need some food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need to eat something like bread and pasta and rice. <laughs> no, we're gonna do some traditional food okay, right now. Okay, so somewhere just near here is the traditional food uh, yes. uh, restaurant. Yes. Very nice. All you're right. Saying, uh, you're saying the older generation will drink a shot in the morning with their coffee ah. and then live to 95 years old. All oh, right, so that's what we're doing. Right we're right okay, okay, good, good for us. It's, it's true. All right. Thank you so much, Vala. Thank you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, Bye. next stop. Bye. 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 <laughs> what a sunny day today. I think I need sunglasses. Especially after that brandy, <laughs> it's so bright right now. Why you look at this place? It's so beautiful. We're in an area called Skadar Lia, and I think uh, the term that is most used today is called the Bohemian Quarter instead of the Gypsy Alley. Right. Yeah. So um, we are going to try some traditional Serbian food at a kafana. Now, a, kaf a kafana is a term used in the old days. It used to be like for a place of gathering over a coffee and a meal. So we're going to this place. It's called Deva Jelena. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it means two deers. And it's one of the oldest kafana in the city. So let's go try some wow. Serbian food. Actually, the sign says 1832. Yeah, look at this. Which is which is no joke. So nearly two hundred year old Kavana. Okay. Let's eat. I need some food. Let's eat. <laughs> Alright, let's be honest guys, this plate looks incomplete. We've got this really nice thing here, which is a bell pepper stuffed with cream cheese. Looks good. We've got the uh, beans over here, baked beans, and sort of in this beautiful mash. Looks good as well. Now the reason the plate has so much empty space is because we didn't realize this one was full of liquid. Yeah. And so when we cut it open, it really truly exploded all over the french fries, <laughs> all over everything. And uh... <laughs> it looks like it's a uh, chicken, breaded chicken, and there is like some kind of cheese inside. Would you just pick it up and eat it like this? <laughs> I mean, there's like, look, <laughs> it's like liquid inside. Uh, very exciting. Okay, let me try this one first. Um, is that, is that okay? finger food? It looks like finger no, food. No, it's not. It's called. Let's see if I can get it right. Cador de steak. That sounds right. That sounds exactly right, babe. Okay, let me try this. So it's breaded chicken. Yeah. With some sort of very liquidy, actually, almost greasy the, cheese. Oily yeah, cheese the inside, inside is like creamy cheese. In Serbian, it's called kajmak. Kajmak. Kaj, kajmak. The J would be a Y. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kajmak, probably. So let's try this. Breaded, breaded, breaded chicken. chicken. In creamy cheese. Mmm. It's nice. Mm. <laughs> Does it taste like chicken cordon bleu? Mm hmm. It's almost like that. And the creamy cheese tastes a little bit like blue cheese. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm. So it's a strong cheese flavor. Mm hmm. Strong cheese flavor. Interesting. Very good, though. I feel like it's almost finger food. I feel like you almost just take it like <laughs> this and bite the top off. 
Do you know what I mean? But I don't think this is finger food because we are at a nice restaurant, see? Right, right. This doesn't. Uh, if this was street food, mess. yes. Finger food. But anyway. Mm. It's good or no? It's good. Okay, there you have it. I would give it five stars. Really? <laughs> what do I have it? So I think we actually. We lost a lot of the cheese. And I am gonna stuff mine with french fries. <laughs> Good idea, man. I don't know if this is right or wrong, it just <laughs> seems natural to me. It seems like a natural french fry orifice in there. <laughs> that is a good idea. Oh my gosh. We are so too street for a fancy restaurant. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You can dress me up, but you can't take me out. Uh, all right, let's try this. So the cheese is a little bit blue cheese. Yeah. There's a little bit of that strong flavor, which I really like. I quite like blue cheese. Um, and it's very convenient, the way to eat it. I will say, the chicken, it's not very, it seems like Serbian food in general, not a lot of spices. Right, right. They're not gonna put in all these different rosemary, thyme, pepper, salt. It's very kind of plain. Yes. Not in a bad way, but in a way you just taste the ingredients. Yes, but it's tasty. So the flavor is chicken. Yeah. And a Blue little cheese. bit of cheese. <laughs> it's just chicken and cheese flavor, yeah. really. <laughs> but do you like it though? Yeah. Okay. It's good. Mm. Now, the problem is, I accidentally dripped that blue cheese flavor all over this um, really good looking thing. This might be my favorite of the day. This is a pepper stuffed with cream cheese. And sorry, Ivana, I just cannot wait. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. It does look mm. so good. Mm. Five stars, six stars. Really? Oh, this is so good. Oh my goodness. To be clear, what's not to like? It's pepper, cream cheese, breaded and fried. Impossible not to like this, but so good. <laughs> and they're not cheap on the cream cheese. It's oh, full right. of cream cheese. Give some tartar sauce. Oh, it came with this, which we're thinking is tartar sauce, but I don't really know. To be honest, it doesn't need sauce, so I don't know if this is going to yeah, help or hurt. True. Also came with a lemon, so maybe we do this too. All right. I'm not sure this so is going to... No. <laughs> Sorry. Better just plain. Oh, on its own. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Mm. That looks mm. so good. Do you like that one better than the chicken? Yeah. Breaded chicken? Mm. This one is not bad. But it's not overly great either. Oh, yeah. Just nice. Alright. Um, the... This thing. This? Okay, that's five for stars. me. It's five stars. Five stars. <laughs> Six stars. If you get full, maybe I'll have it for you. No problem. No, 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 no. Now, let's try the beans. Sorry, I'm on a roll, babe. Look at this. Uh, this is like um, baked beans that are also mashed a bit. nice mm -hmm. but again not very strong flavors right. I think the Serbian palate is a very delicate palate mm. right I realize uh, they put stuff uh, cheese like on their meat often like in, even in Pashka pizza they put cheese sometimes right in in uh, chicken in 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 a steak <laughs> but the Serbian palate seems to be the opposite of the Pakistani palate Pakistan they put oh, spices in everything yeah it's like very spicy, very flavorful, overwhelmingly strong flavor. Yeah, even in Romania, they put uh, a lot more spices than in Serbia. Yes. I honestly I think. think if a Pakistani guy ate this, he would say there's no flavor. <laughs> there is flavor, but it's very subtle. It's very nice. It's the texture. It's the warmth. It's good, but it's not like, I, whoa, um, you know? I realized that Serbian food, they like to conserve the natural flavor of whatever it is they're cooking. For example, the beans, they want to accentuate the bean flavor. Like in Ashfar yesterday, we bought a jar of Ivar. Ivar. They want to just focus on the pepper, the natural flavor yes. of the pepper itself yes. without the addition of... You taste the ingredients. Yeah, without there must the addition be a, of spices. There must be a distinction of quality ingredients in Serbia yeah. because you taste the ingredients yeah so if it's like cheaper beef or cheaper chicken or cheaper you would know that it's cheaper because it's like um not overly spicy now how do you eat all the liquid on the plate <laughs> i think you gotta i don't know babe <laughs> i don't know if you're not supposed to cut it but you gotta cut it 
Yeah. Maybe, you could, maybe you could eat it like this from the top <laughs> and just eat it from the top. You had a good idea with stuffing it with... Uh, <laughs> I need a spoon. I want to put the sauce back in, you know? Or just dip it. Yeah, that's a good idea. There you go. Oh, it's not so liquidy anymore. Much thicker now. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, we're too street for fancy restaurants. We don't know nothing. <laughs> Which, by the way, the inside, the interior of this restaurant is so beautiful. Absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> they call this restaurant Two Deer Restaurant. Um, <laughs> Only found one deer inside, the deer head, but super beautiful restaurant. Yeah. I feel much more comfortable making the video and acting foolish out front. In there, it's very formal, very nice paintings on the wall and everything. Nice restaurant. All right, let uh, me try the, the stuff. This is, this is the best part. Okay. The, the stuffed pepper is the best part. Ooh, okay, let's eat. All right, guys, I'm gonna use my fork and knife to eat properly. Good job, Ivana, you're a big girl. Ooh. <laughs> So it looks like cream cheese inside a paprika. Yeah. So good, right? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. Amazing. You can it's cream it. cheese. How can it be bad? Exactly. And all the peppers. Perfect. And it's fried. How you can could, it be bad? You could eat... Tell me if I'm wrong. You could eat four of those. Of course. Of course. So nice. Mmm. It's like stuffed jalapeno. It's deep, like deep fried jalapeno. It's exactly the same mm -hmm. as that, but it's not spicy. Yeah, yes, spicy. yes, exactly right. Yeah. Okay, let's try the beans actually. There you have it, guys. The beans. I, maybe I gave a bad review, but they're just, they're just nice. They're just nice. Simple flavor. Mm. Not overwhelming, you know. I, it looks like there is potatoes as well. No, I think it's just beans. With cheese, beans and cheese and some kind of sauce. They put a little bit of paprika powder, I think. Mm. But it's just a subtle flavor. Subtle is right. Yeah. Yes. A subtle is right. Yeah. Very good though. I like it. There you have it, guys. Mm-hmm. All right. I love the cheese on this one. I just want to drink it. <laughs> the yeah, that kind sauce. of strong blue cheese flavor. It's got thicker now. Yeah. I wish they would put more cheese sauce in it because it's so good. I wonder if we cut it open too early. Maybe if mm. you wait five minutes, it won't burst. When we cut it, it really exploded like yeah, a maybe. fire hydrant. Maybe. <laughs> so maybe we cut it too early. Yeah. There you have it, guys. All right, let's finish up and then we'll give our final review. All right, final review of traditional Serbian food. I will say this. We <laughs> rolled out of bed this morning and we did two shots of brandy before noon. So maybe we burnt off all our taste buds. But it seemed like the flavors were very subtle and it yeah. didn't taste... I just feel like there's, there's more to try. I think we have so. to find the traditional food we really are overwhelmed by and we really loved. So far, what's your favorite Serbian? Of course, that special, wonderful pleskavica. Chudezna pleskavica. <laughs> yes, that. Same right. for me, as well as the deer sausage was really special. Yeah. So, Those... so far, the street food has been better than the traditional food. Yeah, I think so. Watch our street food video. Watch our street food video, I like, I like please. Serbian street food. And thank you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching our video. We did have a nice meal. Yeah. It wasn't like we didn't like it or it was bad or something, but it just didn't hit the spot where I was like, mm, that's amazing. And this is such a nice area right here. Lots of restaurants, cafe, bars. True. It's just a nice place to yes. walk around. To Great place by. to spend an afternoon. And grab a meal. And grab a meal. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. Last bite. Last bite. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's hard. You <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> I'll tell you what, brandy for breakfast mm. makes every day good. <laughs> it's good for your digestion. <laughs>